The Northern Territory opposition says the government has refused to answer questions about its new alcohol legislation, which passed the parliament last night. Let's bring in Matt Cunningham, who's in Darwin. Matt, when do these laws actually come into effect? Well, we're expected that the legislation that passed last night will be gazetted tomorrow, Ash, and those alcohol bans will be back in place by Friday. Now, the Northern Territory opposition supported the NT government on this legislation, but they still say they have concerns about a lack of tr transparency by the government uh, when it comes to the details of that legislation that was presented yesterday. I spoke a bit earlier to the opposition leader, Leah Finocchiaro. Uh, Leah Finocchiaro, thanks for your time. Um, last night during the debate over this uh, liquor legislation, you asked almost 30 questions of the government. You didn't seem to be getting many answers. Uh, are you frustrated by this process? Well, what Natasha Fars and her government showed last night is they're unfit to govern. The opposition asked 29 questions, 22 of which she just completely refused to answer. It proves what Territorians suspected, and that is that they don't understand the detail, they've rushed this legislation, and they're unfit to govern. What are your specific concerns about... I know you've supported the legislation, but what are your specific concerns or the questions that you want answered about the legislation that's now been passed? Well, we've got a lot of questions around how this 60% of adults will be achieved. Of course, the legislation requires a majority of people in a community to want to become an alcohol... a community that's where alcohol is allowed, and so ultimately Ultimately, there's no prescription in the legislation around what the Director General has to look at when deciding whether or not a community can have grog. And ultimately, there is very little detail. The Chief Minister was unable to clarify anything, in fact, blatantly refused to answer questions. And it shows that they've got more to hide than they do answers for this problem. It, it, it's a remarkable change in direction from the government it comes eight months after there was legislation in the parliament that you were supporting to do exactly what they've done now. Yes. Why do you think it took the government so long to act on this? I think the Prime Minister and their Labor federal colleagues strong arm them into this position. And Matt, I was in Alice Springs last week hearing from stakeholders that the Labor members down there at that time were actually telling people that the federal government had forced the Northern Territory government to do its job. And so I think Natasha Files has really reluctantly had to bring this legislation forward, which is probably why she's not across her brief and the legislation is completely full of holes. But again, it just reinforces the lack of confidence Territorians have in her ability to lead and her government. Do you think the government needs to apologise? Absolutely. The one thing missing from this piece is an apology from Natasha Files that she got it wrong and an admission that she should have listened to the voices of concerned Territorians right from the start. Now, you're putting forward your own legislation. Why do you need to do this? I mean, surely... It's not going to pass the parliament. Um, and what's the difference between what the government's already passed and what you're going to put forward? So the one glaring omission in the government's legislation is it does not deal with the lawlessness plaguing the Territory. And that's where the CLP steps in. Our legislation directly empowers police to deal with problem drunks and grog on our streets. And that's something that we must get on top of if we're going to have a safer Territory and something that the Files government is incapable of doing. Leah, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Ash, we know the government changed its mind. It's introduced that legislation. It's been passed by the parliament now, but it is refusing to apologise. Natasha Files has said in the parliament this week that she will not be apologising for giving more rights to Aboriginal Territorians, even when it comes to this issue of alcohol.